Okay, Emma, it's your turn, honey. Come on in. This is a video EEG monitoring system and it's the essential part of an epilepsy monitoring unit. What's very special about this machine is that it captures a video picture of the child who's hooked up to it while simultaneously capturing all of the electrical brainwave tracings and at any point in time you can go back and look at what was happening in the brain and what the child was doing at that time. It's really essential for diagnosing conditions like epilepsy. It's as important as when MRI was invented and came out in the field of neurology. MRI let us look at the brain in terms of looking at the picture of it in a way we never could before. This machine lets us understand what the brain is doing at one point in time and over, over a time in a way we didn't before. Epilepsy in itself is actually fairly common. About one in every hundred children has epilepsy. But more than that, um, you, you consider the situation of febrile seizures, which is seizures that happen in the setting of a fever. Five out of every hundred children will have that. And if you consider other things like after a concussion or during an illness, up to perhaps 10% of all children could have a seizure at some point. We wanted to get a machine like this for a long time. We've known we've needed one but we didn't have the funds and the people to run it. And uh, families from our region would have to go and spend a week in, uh, in Toronto where they would have their uh, EEG video recording done there. And the waiting list was actually quite long, about a year. Two years ago at the celebration, we talked about how this was one of the uh, projects that we wanted to acquire for the hospital. With the generous donations, we were able to get the equipment. Uh, we then had to recruit the people who knew how to run the equipment properly. And just within the last two months, we've come to the point where we're actually using it now in the hospital. We're not finished. We are still planning further renovations within the hospital so that there's going to be on the newly renovated pediatric ward a permanent room where one of these machines is installed with an infrared camera for monitoring overnight as well. So that's going to be sort of phase two that we're going to.